Getting a statue professionally painted worth it? How the fuck should I know? I don't know what you spend your money on. People buy some weird ass shit. As the Extreme channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Extreme channel. We are doing another statue related countdown today. Now, as I posed in the intro in the title, is getting a statue painted professionally, so not by the factory, but an independent painter that that's all they do, actually worth the money? Well, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so it depends on who you're looking at and what their budget is. I say yes, because of the statues that I have that are professionally painted, and there's over a dozen of them, they are phenomenal. And we're going to look at all of them today. We're actually going to do another countdown. And I'm going to figure out why I'm moving my hands like this, but we're going to do a countdown of which statues are painted the best. So this isn't necessarily, hey, these are all the professionally painted statues I have, and this is my favorite statue. It's which one do I think is done the absolute best. Now, clearly, there's some advantages and disadvantages, depending on the specific piece. It's kind of like comparing apples to oranges or Biden to Trump. Oh, <laughs> I probably pissed off both sides with that. That's what we're going to look at today. Now, before we do that, just a little bit of background. So for the most part, when you buy a statue, 99% of the time, if it's from a licensed company, it comes already painted because whoever owns the entity or the rights to that particular character, they're going to approve the paint scheme that the licensed company like Sideshow or Prime One Studio or Queen Studio actually makes. Now that doesn't stop you. You can always have it repainted. And some of the pieces we're going to look at today are repaints. And I'll tell you which ones those are. Custom statues are kind of a mixed bag. Some of them come painted, some come as a kit, which is an unpainted statue. To be honest with you, almost all of them are always offered as a kit because some people like to paint them themselves. They have the skill. Now, if you're new to the channel, my wife recently got into painting statues. She's painted about four of them and they are on the countdown. And I have some other ones she's actually gonna test out. So these are ones that I have on order that are coming that will need to be painted. So let's kick it off with this amazing Silver Surfer right here. So this is Silver Surfer on Galactus's hand. Again, I'm not ranking these because I don't have them yet, but these are on their way. The next piece is kind of what I call this Barbarian Wolverine. This comes only as a kit. I like to have the factory paint it, but it's nice that Mrs. X, my wife, can actually take these on as a project. Because one project she's actually working on right now is she's repainting this Magneto statue. She's giving him a black suit, and I actually post work in progress pictures on the Extreme Channel social media. So make sure you check that out. The link is in the description below for Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Right here is a custom pyro. So this is the render of it. It's gonna come as an unpainted kit, so Mrs. X will have to do her magic, which will be interesting because she hasn't done translucent fire before. Now the last pieces are two Venom pieces that only come as a kit. So she will try these out. She's never painted a Venom. She's never painted a Silver Surfer either. She's really nervous about that. But I just told her, honey, worst case scenario is you fuck up a $2,000 piece. And the last kit I have coming, my wife is not going to paint this, but my guy Jason at S7, who's done a ton of the ones on my list, is going to do this gigantic Hulk because Hulks are his thing. Really excited. This statue, I think it weighs like 130 pounds. It's ridiculous. We'll be shipping later this year. So if you want to see that, make sure you've not only liked this video, but you've subscribed to the channel and hit the bell notification on that. But I actually have 14 other statues that I've had repainted or painted as they came as a kit. So we're going to look at all those, and there are some fantastic painters here, and I wish I could give them all the same recognition, but the truth is some are just better than my wife. That might have been a Freudian slip. You know, it happened the other day. We were having breakfast, and I meant to say, hey, hon, can you pass me the orange juice? But instead, it slipped out. You ruined my life, bitch. I'm just kidding. I love my wife very much. <coughs> Feel that? It was like electricity. Technically, there's 15 pieces, but I'm not going to put these in the countdown right now because these were professionally painted by ARP by his wife, and uh, they uh, recently ripped some people off with the RoboCop statue, myself included. So I just don't want to include them in the countdown. All right, coming in at number 14 is the Sideshow Wolverine vs. Hulk maquette. Now, I had this repainted to the Gray Hulk. This was in my very early part of collecting higher-end statues. And I, get, I like this a lot. And this was probably painted by the best Hulk painter out there. However, it just comes in as my least favorite. Doesn't mean I don't like it. Number 13 is one my wife did. So I kind of feel bad, but it is the Age of Apocalypse Wolverine. She did a really good job with the skin tones on this one, so I was really impressed. But when I look at some of the other ones, keep in mind this was like the second or third piece she painted. When we look at some of the ones she's up against, they painted thousands of actual statues. Number 12 really surprised me because I really love this piece, but it's this Silver Surfer. Now, interesting enough, the one I showed you earlier with Galactus's hand, 
That is version four. This is actually version two. So this ranks in right here, and which ironically, this is another statue. This is actually the version three. This is the only unpainted statue I actually currently have in my home. I do have one other unpainted statue. Here's a representation of it right here. It's actually also with S7 Customs. I think he forgot I sent it to him about three years ago. And if uh, you're watching, Jason, I'm just busting your chops. But yeah, you should get on that. So number 11 actually was a prototype, which obviously was an unpainted statue at one time. This X-Force Wolverine. It's a very, very cool piece. However, I've seen much better paint jobs on some of the other ones we're gonna look at. Again, it doesn't mean this wasn't done phenomenally, but this comes in at number 11. This Colossus, another prototype. So again, it was done by a professional painter. That's typically how they do that. A lot of commissioners will have a professional painter paint the prototype, and then the factory tries to mimic that the best they can, but the prototype is generally always the best. So this comes in at number 10. Number nine is one by my wife. It is this thing. She did an amazing job with this. And I believe this is the first one. So this got her into obviously painting more statues. And I think she just gets better and better with each one, even though this one's ranked lower on the list. But let's not go there. Number eight is another prototype. It is this Mr. Sinister and Madeline Pryor statue. Phenomenally done. And from what I understand, while I haven't seen some of the production ones in person, I understand that the production was not as close to the prototype, which is typically the case, but I think there was a little bit bigger gap in this. So I'm very happy that I was able to get the prototype and have it professionally painted. Number seven is the first one I ever bought is another prototype, this Magneto vs. Sentinel. It's done amazing. It's done by the same guy who did the X-Force Wolverine. Coincidentally enough, though, while this is my favorite Magneto statue, you're going to see one down the list that's higher up on this list because I think it was painted a little bit better. Number six was this custom penguin statue. I bought this painted. However, it was only sold as a kit and someone had it professionally painted. Then I ended up buying it from them. But done very well. There's so much cool detail on this. They just knocked it out of the park. Number five is a Hulk by S7 Customs. So this amazing Hulk right here, not only made him to a General Ross, a Red Hulk or a Rolk, but he re-sculpted the hair. He re-sculpted the base. It was supposed to be a Hulk buster helmet on the bottom. He re-sculpted it to Juggernaut, which looks unbelievable. Again, S7 Customs did this. Hulk is where it's at. He did an absolute amazing job. Number four was that other Magneto I was talking about. See, these were all done by Carlos. This action Magneto looks phenomenal. It's one of the reasons that I like this piece so much. I've seen a lot of other better Magneto statues, but I think the paint job on this is just absolutely top quality. And Carlos also did my number three, which was this Samurai Wolverine. Unbelievable job. It looks so much better than factory paint could have looked, even though factory paint wasn't a choice on this. As you remember, it had multiple torsos, had this beautiful tree, and he just did an amazing job overall. Number two is another Wolverine, believe it or not. It is this Soldier Wolverine done by S7 Customs. Jason did a phenomenal job on this. This is one of my favorite paint jobs I've ever seen in my life, and I think it couldn't be better. However, it was beat by my number one, which also goes to Jason with S7 Customs. Number one is this custom Sabertooth. It only came as a kit, just like the last two. Unbelievable. The paint job just puts this over the top. There are so many tiny different things in this. I mean, go back and check some of the reviews on these pieces, guys. Like on that Sabertooth, I'm thinking those little zippers were just unbelievable. So definitely, definitely by far my favorite. I don't think I will ever get rid of that piece because the sculpt is also phenomenal. Let me know what you guys think, not only about those pieces, but if you have any that are painted professionally, drop that down in the comments below because I read every single comment. It'd be cool to see what you guys have. Plus, you might win a statue. We will be giving all of these statues away, plus additional ones, at every 5,000 subscriber milestone. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away, plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Again, thanks guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Drop me a like on the way out. It really helps. Until I catch you next time, check out some of these other videos. Take care.